She was a young black mother from Virginia. She never signed any papers, never gave permission. Yet, her cells would go on to save millions of lives. Her name was Henrietta Lacks, and her story changed science and ethics forever. Henrietta was born in 1920, in a small town in Virginia. She grew up working on tobacco fields, married her cousin David Lacks, and later moved to Baltimore for a better life. In 1951, at just 31 years old, Henrietta felt something strange, a knot inside her womb. Doctors at Johns Hopkins Hospital, one of the few hospitals treating black patients then, found she had cervical cancer. But during her treatment, something unthinkable happened. Without her knowledge or consent, doctors took a small sample of her cancer cells. They sent them to a lab, and what they discovered shocked them. Unlike any cells before, Henrietta's cells didn't die. They kept multiplying, endlessly. Scientists had never seen anything like it. They named them Hella cells, after the first two letters of her name, Henrietta Lacks. Hella cells became the first immortal human cell line, and they revolutionized medicine. Hella cells helped develop the polio vaccine, were used in cancer research, gene mapping, and even COVID-19 vaccines decades later. They went to space, they were cloned, shipped around the world, all without her family's knowledge. While Henrietta's cells were bringing billions to biotech companies, her own family couldn't even afford health insurance. For years, no one even knew who Hella really was. It wasn't until the 1970s that her identity was revealed and her family learned the truth. Since then, Henrietta Lacks has become a symbol of medical ethics, a reminder of the exploitation of black bodies in scientific research. In 2020, her family finally began to receive public recognition. And in 2023, they reached a historic settlement with a biotech company that had profited from her cells for decades. Henrietta Lacks gave more to the world than she ever knew. Her cells became immortal and her story unforgettable. If her legacy moved you, take a moment to like, share and leave a comment to keep her memory alive because stories like hers deserve to be told again and again.